everyone and welcome back to my channel inspired birdie so today i am getting back into the happy planner uh, if you have been following me for a while you might have been used to watching my plan with me videos which i really haven't done uh, at all this year but uh, i am getting back into using my happy planner just a little bit differently and I thought I would take you guys along and share with you what I'm doing. So to get started, I'll first off by just clarifying, if you did watch me before and you watched a lot of my Plan With Me videos, I do a lot of uh, happy planner decorating where I decorate almost like a scrapbook and I always loved doing that as it was a really great uh, outlet for my creativity. But I've also mentioned in several of my happy planner videos, that when I did that, I wasn't actually using the planner. I was just decorating the planner, uh, really just to decorate it, but I wasn't using it. So I won't be doing that this time. If that's something that you're interested in, I have well over a hundred, probably around 150 videos. If you're looking for different ideas and creative outlets for decorating your happy planner, I'll link that below. You can go ahead and check those out. The titles are uh, very specific to what the theme is. So if you're looking for some creativity, go check that out. So for today, I just thought I would show you guys how I'm getting back into my happy planner uh, and yeah, what I plan to do. So this is my happy planner. The one that says Happy Mama. I think I did a review on my channel for this specific planner, um, but I plan on organizing my Happy Planner this time in a way that I am gonna actually use it. So because of that, I'm not gonna get into any heavy uh, decorating of my planner. I will still decorate it, just not heavily like I used to because I really don't like thick planners and when planners are thick, I don't tend to use them. So as you can see, this one is quite thin. I actually went ahead and took out half of the entire year uh, and I'll put them back in when I need them, but I don't like thick planners and that just kind of diverts me from wanting to even use it. So I need my planner to be nice, neat, not too heavy. So I'm gonna go ahead and keep using this planner. So yeah, this is the Happy Mama Life Planner. I really love the binding on this one, the super bright pink. It's like a foilish pink. And then this little rubber band here is just from the Dollar uh, Tree. I have tons of these. So the purpose of this video, guys, I just wanna show you how I'm gonna be setting up my planner in terms of what's inside of it. I'm also gonna show you my Happy Planner sticker book that I DIY'd, and I'll show you guys any other ha like items that I have that I use for planning as well. So that's really what this video is gonna be about. So for starters, this, uh, container here is where I keep all of these guys. I have lots of them and I just keep them in here. This is from the Dollarama. So I like that it's mesh, it's see-through and it just zips open and close. So I'll start off by showing you guys how much I have from the Dollar Tree. And if you're looking for easy ways to hold your planner closed, whether it's a happy planner or not, Dollar Tree is the place to be at. So let me show you this. All right, so you can see tons of stuff here. This is all from the Dollar Tree. So really, you just have to go and visit the kids section. I don't even know, if is it really a kids section? Can it be an adult section? It's whatever section you want it to be, but it's the hair supply section um, for all the different accessories. And I literally just grab any kind of headband accessories that I really like that I think that I would use. You can also get little clip-ons. So I use these because I used to make my own Happy Planner bookmarks. That's also on my channel if you're looking for any of that kind of creativity. So lots of really fun, different ideas. Yeah, so that's what I use to hold my Happy Planner closed. All right, so now that I put all that away, so like I said, the Happy Mama is my planner, and then this one over here is my sticker book, which I'll show you guys a little bit later on. I'm gonna start off with my Happy Planner and how I organized it. So the purpose of my Happy Planner is I wanted to get three uses out of it. If you saw my um, ideas of how to use your notebook, you guys would know that I have a lot of notebooks. I love notebooks, uh, but I don't really use them as I, 
I'm sure a lot of people fall into that same category as me. You love your notebooks, but we don't really use them. So I wanted to get three purposes out of my happy planner this time around, and that was weekly planning, uh, social media planning, and uh, budgeting were the three things that I wanted to get out of it so that I didn't have to go and get three different books to do those things. Uh, and then the fourth piece was a little bit of the added freedom of if I wanted to do any kind of bullet journaling, I could, and I'll show you what I mean by that. So here's the cover. So when we open it up, this is what it looks like. So these stickers here don't come on the cover. It's not part of the cover. I just put these stickers here. These are from one of the uh, Happy Planner sticker packs. And then for this little dashboard here, this is the sticky note dashboard that you can buy. And these are all sticky notes that you can just use throughout your planner. And then it jumps right into things. So I took out the front cover, sorry for the glare guys, and I just jumped right into it. So we are currently in July, so that is what I have in here. And I'll show you how I have my July set up, but I'll just show you the cover if you wanna see what it looks like. And then here's my July calendar. I do love decorating this and I haven't done that yet, but I do plan to do that for August. Uh, but again, I'm not gonna be doing any kind of heavy decorating like I've done before. If you're used to seeing those videos, I'm gonna be using more of the actual Happy Planner stickers or stickers like it that you can also get from Dollar Tree just to keep my planner thin because when you get into you know thick 3D type um, stickers, it gets really thick and heavy. And then here's what a layout looks like. So this is a, the new Happy Planner layout that I got. I think I did a review, like I said, maybe a few months ago. So this is definitely different than the previous layouts that you would have seen me do or that Happy Planner is really known for where it's Monday to Friday uh, going right across. But I really liked how this was set up for errands to buy calls. Like I liked how it was separated like that. And then your weekly is just over here. So let me show you how I set up this week that I'm going into. So I just got started. I haven't actually completed it. So errands, I have nothing there yet to buy. I have dog food. Here is where it had a budget, but because I'm doing a separate section, I can just use that area to decorate. Any kind of calls and emails you have to do, what are your focuses? And then I really thought this was cool. So this is a new buy. I just actually bought this. Let me grab the package here. So I just purchased this from uh, Michael's and I think it was 10, I think it was around $10 Canadian. And what I like about it is I haven't picked up markers for it yet, but it's a dry erase, erase sorry, <laughs> a dry erase dashboard. And it was in the teacher section, like the teacher student section. But how cool is that? So it's dry erase. So I'm going to pick up some markers and I love the idea of it being dry erase fantastic for the environment and it's just you know great to be able to reuse it I'll show you the other side so here's what the other side looks like so that's one it does come with a second one and I'll show you that one later on because I used it in a different section and then this is how I have my week set up so I really love that it has the what's for dinner so you can mark down what you want to make for dinner that week and I do plan on decorating more than this. Like I said, I just got back into it, so I haven't gotten there yet. And then if you're interested in seeing the actual um, covers, if you wanna see the whole review of this planner, I'll see if I can find it and I'll link it below, but I'll just show you what, uh, if you're like me, you like to see the cover photos for each of the months. They have a, a lot of really nice planners though. I was at Michael's today. So today is like near the end of July and they just have a lot of really nice planners. I haven't been in quite a while and I was very tempted to buy a new one, but I held back. I said to myself, you have a lot of planners. You don't need another one. And then that brings us to December, which is where uh, I ended it. 
and then I'll add in the rest of the year when, you know, as time goes on. So this uh, folder cover here with the heart, this is an add-on package that I had purchased. I think I purchased the package for about $6. Actually, I think I might have even gotten it cheaper than that. It was when it was on clearance. Uh, and it came with like six different inserts. So I really love the gold foil. And then this is where I started customizing my own. So this is my YouTube one. I really wanna get back into being more organized uh, with my YouTube. You guys know what I mean if you follow me. It's been quite a while since I've been posting stuff. So I have that page. And then here's the second uh, dry erase page. So this one says stuff to do. I love at the top, it has the projects and assignments. Now I covered what it actually said here. It was um, designed for students. So if we look back at this cover, again, I'm so sorry for the glare, it's the light above where I am. It actually said to read and tests and exams, but I don't have any tests and exams. So I put a sticker over it that says note, and I put a sticker that says get organized. That's what's great about Happy Planner, right? You can just customize things with stickers. And then you can also write on the back page. So the back page is also dry erase. And I just put those two stickers that say must do list and the plan. Now the do all the things, this did come with um, this specific planner and I'm going to use this for my YouTube planning. And I plan to use this more of like a brain dump or if I wanna do a haul or if I'm doing a DIY, you know, what are all the, the different like items and supplies that I'm gonna need and I can use this for that. But I love this paper and then look at the other side. I love that it has these little sticky notes. So really great to use just to, for your kind of brain dump planning organizing. And then this is what I meant from a bullet journaling perspective. Uh, I like to be able to grid up my own kind of trackers for whatever it is that I need. So I made my own YouTube dashboard. I know that Happy Planner comes with a social media package that you can buy for about $10, but I just thought why not make my own. So really simple to do. I just use the Happy Planner paper that you can buy. So the gridded is the one that I use. This stuff only cost about $7. And then I made my own titles. I put some washi at the top, little watermelons. Some more washi at the bottom. I do plan to use washi in my planner. I love using washi. Uh, and that's all I did. I did only one sheet for now because I only think I need one sheet. And then here's another inserted uh, cover, part of that package I told you about. And this is my budget one. And like I said, I wanted to do, I wanted to have that freedom that I can do a little bit of my own bullet journaling. So I made this page myself. So again, I just used the gridded paper. And then I did my budgeting for August. So I haven't filled it in yet. I just designed it. So I used some happy planner stickers. I'm going to budget uh, by starting off, you know, what is my total in? What are the bills that I have to pay? I didn't, I didn't uh, end it down here because I might have to go down another line or so. What activities do I have that month? And then how much money ends up in savings? And I'm gonna do that each month. Uh, and then that's it, at the back here is just the extra paper that I have and some extra gridded paper as well. And then my back cover. So that's how I set up my happy planner, uh, hoping that I'll definitely get more use out of it by doing it that way. Uh, and if that's something that you know, you're interested in doing, the easiest way to get started is just by marking down what is most important to you. And that's what I did. Weekly planning, budgeting, and then my YouTube organization. And how can I fit that all together? For all of my uh, bullet journaling pages, I know it's not exactly bullet journaling, but it's similar. And for those, I always start off by using pencil first. Uh, and if you're looking for any kind of uh, beginner inspiration, I do have a video on that. Uh, if I remember, I'll link it below. But let's now get into my DIY sticker book. All right, so <clears throat> again, this is a elastic from the dollar store. And then here is the book. So first off, um, these bindings 
were bindings that I just had from, I've bought in lots of happy planners over the years and when I'm done with them, I don't throw them out. I keep the, the happy planners that I've used before because I used to decorate them and I just really like looking back at them. But I do take them off their bindings and then I usually just clip, clip them together and I like to reuse the bindings. So for this one, I mixed uh, white and gold and these are the smaller ones. And then this uh, cover is a DIY cover. It is on my channel if you're interested in knowing how to make your own Happy Planner DIYs. I've done Happy Planner DIYs using many different methods. So using dollar store methods and actual Happy Planner uh, methods. So I have lots of different ways of doing it. If that's something you're interested in, you can check those videos out as well. Uh, but yeah, that's a DIY. The actual cover is on the inside. I kept it there just for the stability. Um, yeah, no other real purpose. But this is how I did my sticker book. So I this only includes what stickers I would use in my happy planner, uh, just so that I have it on hand so that I can easily, you know, go and grab what I need. So how did I do that? It's done with these pockets. You can buy these pockets on their own. I think you can get three of them in a pack. You might be able to get more, but Usually it's about three in a pack for about six or seven dollars and that's how I organize them so that I just put them in their pocket. And so the first part is some that I want to re I want to use now because they are getting old. So I find after a while stickers start to sometimes lose their stickiness. And then I have, yeah, so I have them in order of like, I don't know, kind of just their own, their own package, I guess, however it came. These are Dollar Tree ones. I've hauled these on my channel before, but these are from the Dollar Tree. Actually, uh, the Let's Planner, I believe is from the Dollar Tree as well, which I did do a video where I hauled a bunch of planner uh, supplies that the Dollar Tree had. And I do believe the Let's Planner is the brand from the Dollar Tree. Yes, it is, because these unicorn ones are from the Dollar Tree. This is my new one that I just got from Happy Planner. And there's the last page. There's some more Let's Planner from the Dollar Tree. I'll show you guys one of them in case you're interested in seeing, like, hey, what can I get from the Dollar Tree? You'll definitely, if you're interested, you'll have to just go check out your Dollar Tree because there's some pretty cool stuff that you can get these days for planners. And you get quite a bit for a dollar. 265 for a dollar behind here I just have some random stickers that are like thinner stickers that I thought would be nice for decorating my planner okay so if you're interested to stick around for another two minutes I'll actually just quickly show you the stickers from Dollar Tree uh, just in case you're interested just stick around and I'll show you that right now all right here are the other two that I got so I'll start off by showing you this one's 323 stickers let me just make sure I have the last page. Such fun colors. Look at all the foil. Love it. Quick little planner haul video here for you folks. But you really gotta grab them when you see them because they probably go really fast. 297. I know I skipped a page there. Hold on. I think I missed this page. And then my most recent purchase, this is not from the Dollar Tree, this is from Michael's, but I'll show you guys. 
So this is their productivity pack. I'm gonna flip through this because there's a lot. You know what though, I was looking online at the Happy Planner store and they have some really great deals on these packages. You can get two for the price of one. However, their shipping is incredibly expensive. It was almost $20 to ship to Canada where I am, where I'm located and I'm not in the middle of nowhere. So I opted not to do that because then it just ends up being the same price of what I'd pay at Michael's. But if you do have a Michael's coupon, you can always go and get one for half price anyways. All right guys, so I hope you enjoyed coming along with me to see my new planner uh, layout and what I plan to do moving forward uh, and the sticker book DIY as well. All right, let me, you know, leave me a comment below. Let me know what you're most excited for. Let me know what you're into right now when it comes to the happy planner or any planner at all. I'm always interested uh, in different types of planners as well. If you guys have seen any cool ones, let me know. But yeah, thanks a lot for watching this video. Don't forget to subscribe if you're interested in these types of things. And I look forward to making more videos for you guys. All right, chat soon. Have a great day. Love and peace to you all. Bye.